All right, good guys, morning to you. Pray that you're having a blessed and beautiful morning. Four, that's right, it's another day the Lord has made. We shall, we will be going to rejoice and be glad in it. So good guys, morning to all of you. Again, it is Thursday, a beautiful day. Hallelujah, the Lord has made. And so get your praise on, all right? Get your praise on, get it on. Let's look at our scripture this morning coming from Galatians 6, verse 8. Galatians 6 and verse 8. It says, The one who sows to please his sinful nature, from that nature will reap destruction. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Today is Friday. Sorry. <laughs> from that nature will reap destruction. The one who sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will will reap eternal life. Let me read that again. The one who sows to please his sinful nature, from that nature will reap destruction. The one who sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. My goodness. So again, today is Friday, April the 9th. Praise God. All right. So let's look at this, this scripture here coming from Galatians 6 and 8. And it talks about sowing. And, you know, we must understand that sowing can be um, different things. You know, we don't always have to sow money. You know, most people think when you talk about sowing, you're talking about money. But no, it's not always talking about money. You can sow um, joy. You can sow peace. Um, any of the fruits of the, the Spirit, those seeds of the Spirit, which are, you know, love, joy, peace, uh, meekness, patience, you know, any of those foods. You can sow those things. Well, Scripture says here that one who sows to please the sinful nature. Well, what is the sinful nature? Um, those things that we lust, those things that we desire, you know, those things that are really of no spiritual or long-term benefit. It's just we want what we want when we want it. You know, um, you know, we... we we, we sow um, seeds of discord, you know, sow seeds of, of, of anger, sow seeds of, you know, envy, strife. You know, those things are seeds that can be sown. And I always tell people, if you want to know what seeds you've been sowing in your life, look around your life. Look around at the fruit that the seeds that you've sown, whether they were good or bad, have, and, and you will be able to see the fruit of those seeds. So look around your life. What seeds are you sowing? Are you sowing, you know, um, anger, you know, strife, envy, jealousy? You know, are you, you know, just uh, greedy? You know, what what seeds are you sowing? Or are you sowing spiritual seeds? You know, love, joy, peace, happiness, you know, meekness, patience. You know, are you sowing those seeds? Because the fruits of those seeds you'll be able to see in your life now. Now, Scripture is talking about, you know, when we sow of the natu of the nature, the natural sinful nature, of course we reap destruction because there is nothing good in our flesh, beloved. Our flesh is just bad because we were born into sin. Okay? And until we come to Christ and ask God to forgive us, we're still sinful. So when we come to Christ, God, you know, it takes on a new, new, new relationship, a new form. But beloved, it doesn't mean that there's there's still not going to be struggle. Hear me now. There's still not going to be some struggle. There will be some struggle because you're still at war. Your flesh wants to do what your what, what your flesh wants to do, and the spirit wants to, wants you know to do what you what do. It's like the, the devil and the angel on, on your shoulders. Y'all seen them thing? Those things can be real sometimes. And some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to be funny, but serious. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all have the the spirit man over here telling you, "Yep, be good. You do good. You need to do that. You need to say I'm sorry. You need to you know show love. You need to you know uh, um you know sow good seed." And then you got this man, forget it, man. They don't they don't like you. Uh they don't show good seeds to you. Man, you said man just did that to you. Do it back to them. Come on, we, we go through this in our mind. I'm not trying to be funny, but let's be serious. We go through this in our mind because we have a war with the spirit and war with the flesh. They're fighting against each other. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they're fighting against each other. And so we have to continuously, and then if you don't believe me, Paul says, you know, the things I wanted to do, when I want to be do right. You know, I, 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 I see, it seems like I always do wrong. 
And the very things I want to do, it seems like I don't do because there's a war going on. There's a struggle going on. And so we're continuously with that struggle for good and evil, you know, to do good or to do bad. You know, oh, this feels this feels good. So let's do this. Oh, no, that's not that's not good. We're going to get this later. We're going to feel this later. We have these struggles. But we must control them. The Bible says if if we submit ourselves to God, this is how we control this. This is how we get to a place where we can uh, control flesh, spirit, submitting ourselves to God. We have, first have to submit ourselves to God. Then the scripture for the says, said, resist the devil and he will flee. But we first have to submit. Be careful, beloved, because the seeds that we sow, whether they're in flesh nature or the spirit nature, will also reap them. But the great thing about sowing in spirit is that we just don't get it right here on earth we get it in heaven because if you remember now there is going to come a time when we have to pay for what we what we've done okay we're gonna have to have judgment that's 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 given nobody is exempt from judgment day i don't care how good you are i don't care what you've done how much you've sold because some people think i have somebody told me this before some people think that they can sow seeds you know they can they can give they can pay tithes and all that stuff and that that exempts them from having to on judgment day having to pay for what they've done no we still have to pay to some degree for the things that we've done but just and that's just like how we will receive reward so your reward may be big your reward may be small my reward may be huge your reward may be small Oh, your reward may be huge and my reward may be small. Whatever the level of, let me see how to say this, of how we live our life is the level of reward that we receive when we get to eternal life. Of course, yes, there'll be some things we'll have to, you know, give an account for. But the great thing about it is that when we live for Christ, again, we don't have to wait till we get into heaven to receive the seeds and the fruit of what we sown, but we can receive some of that here. Beloved, if your life is in turmoil and you, every day you 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 getting bad bad fruit, you know, people just treating you bad, so you might want to see what seeds you, you're sowing. Change your seeds. Change what you're sowing and watch God how things change. Change the seeds. This I got to say this too. Change the seeds that you're putting into the atmosphere. What seeds you talking about, bitch? Your mouth. Change the seeds out of your mouth that you're putting into the atmosphere. We'll say and do anything and expect to receive a good thing. You gotta say, no. You're sowing a seed out of your mouth, and whatever you sow out is coming back to you. Because remember now, he said, my word won't return back to me void. So, it shall, but it shall accomplish of everything that it is sent out to do. So just remember that. Whatever comes out your mouth is coming back to you. Seed you sow. Sow good seeds. Good thing, good, good seeds, good fruit come back. Try that. Try that for a week and see what happens. Try that. All right? Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your love this morning. We thank you for our opportunity to commune with you. And to hear a word from you this morning. God, we ask you just to continue to bless us and keep your arms around us. And God, help us to be mindful of the seeds that we sow. God, help us to be mindful of the words that come out of our mouth. For God, they will either produce good or produce bad, depending on what we say. God, help us this morning. God, that we would sow good seeds. That, that, that as we sow, we would see the fruit of it. And God, if there's something that we need to change, help us to change. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. Bless those who are watching now, those that may watch later, those that have already been on. God, that we would continue to be mindful of what we sow, of what we speak. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to all of you. Uh, good God's morning to every last one of you. Good God's morning to you. Good morning. Y'all say hello to First Lady. Lady Karen, she's on this morning. It's good God's morning to you. Good God's morning, Michelle Stone. Shannon, God bless you, honey. Good morning. Kanita. 
good morning, Bobby, too. I'm sure Bobby's somewhere near. Good morning, Miss Naomi. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Michael. Shannon, I don't know who you're talking to, but I'm going to say hey to him, too. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Praise God. Good guys morning. Good guys morning to all of you. I can't see who all the rest is on, but good guys morning to you. God bless you all. You all have a blessed and a beautiful Friday. It's Friday. Hey, hey. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for Sunday. Hallelujah. Get yourself prepared. Amen. Those of you who are part of uh, Victory in Christ, um, you know, Saturday we will meet at 11 o'clock just to enjoy ourselves outside and have some fun, okay? So we'll see you at 11 on tomorrow, all right? Otherwise, join me tomorrow for another great episode of Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning to all of you. I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. And we'll see you tomorrow, the same time, the same place, for another Good God's Morning moment. God bless you. Y'all have a great day.